Some black and gold both inside and outside Cambridge tonight. CBS 4's Michael Van Skoik spent the evening downtown getting reaction from the fans. As you can imagine, fans are ecstatic tonight after their win. Boilermakers poured out of here with all sorts of chants, confident that their team could go all the way. It feels phenomenal to get uh, that 16 seed win, and uh, I think this year we're going to Phoenix, and I just I can't wait to be there and cheer them on. It's going to be awesome. Anything's possible, man. We got the number one seed. We could go all the way this year. It's kind of like a home game for us, so yay. There was a lot of Purdue people in there. It feels pretty good. It was a bit scary in the first half. We were only up by a couple points. I was texting my dad while he was at home. I was like, what's going on? But we picked it up, so it was it was a good second half. And we've spoken to so many fans throughout the day who've also just really been excited to have all of these festivities right here in the Circle City. Black and gold packed the house at O'Reilly's Irish Bar Friday afternoon. Fans from all over the state and country made the trip crowding in one by one. We wouldn't be up here if we weren't excited. We've uh, traveled all over. We've been to Big Ten tournaments all over. Uh, and we just go, we go wherever they are. As games heated up all afternoon, so did the atmosphere. Feeling the energy, feeling the excitement, all the black and gold everywhere is fantastic. All that energy and enthusiasm almost makes March Madness feel like a holiday for many diehard basketball fans. And everybody gets geared up, you gotta take the day off possibly two days off. With games around the clock, this holiday can be a bit unpredictable though, but that's sometimes part of the fun. Anything can happen. That's that's part we saw last night with Kentucky in the Oakland game. That was a lot of fun. You know, these, these Cinderella stories, these underdogs that come out of nowhere and just, you know, light it up and it's, it's fun to watch. But perhaps the best part of this year's celebration is the fact that the Circle City has yet again been front and center. Nothing made that more clear than watching hundreds of fans wrap around Gainbridge Fieldhouse during the second night of the tournament's first round. Playing in town, it's hard to beat. Well, I'm from Michigan. This, like, the reason I moved down to Indy is because of stuff like this. After hosting the NBA All-Star Game, the NFL Combine, and Round 1 of the NCAA Tournament in a span of five weeks, Hoosiers are convinced Indianapolis is the place to be. We get the tournament. We get the Combine. We get all sorts of the national championship a couple years ago for college football. Like, I love sports so much, and having all of these sporting events here in such a great venue, like, it's, it's second to none. And, of course, after tonight's win, many fans are excited to be right back here at Gamebridge Fieldhouse on Sunday. In downtown Indianapolis, Michael Van Skoik, CBS 4 News.